Hello ladies and gentlemen, how are you doing today? My name is Billify and today we have another update for Surviving Area 51 on Roblox. As we can see here by the thumbnail, look at that, that looks interesting. The update is there's one new zone, the incinerator zone, located at 2F. Interesting, so it's not a teleporter event, it's a new zone. That's gonna be good. And there was one new secret gun and badge added. Okay, okay, let's go ahead and see what this badge is. What could go wrong? Find burning sword in the incinerator. Oh man, only six people have found it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and see what we can find here. All right, so checking the map here, 2F is the prison area. So what we're going to do is we're not going to go down the robot zone. I know some people are going to be confused and they're going to head down robot zone thinking that that's where it's going to be. No, you got to head over to the prison zone. Once you're heading up the stairs and you make that right, you're not going to go into prison. You're going to see that intersection with factory and you're going to take a left. There's a brand new door there. So just head down the hallway that you just dropped into. And then once you get to this main area, like you're heading to prison, take the left. And then once you're up, take the right. And then you get the new intersection. Oh, I can hear new sounds already. Yeah, brand new door right here. All right, let's see. Let's see. Oh, okay. So it seems like there's two buttons here. Whoa. Oh, well, all right. I didn't know there was a drop there. <laughs> so I don't think you can damage this thing right here. I'm going to bypass these two buttons here just to see what's next. Got the Mario reference there. Right, four check marks. Oh, Okay, so the objective is to activate these four buttons and the two buttons that we passed earlier. What? You have to hold activation on it. I was out of the way on that, but I guess it's harder to see. I wish the people over there would actually help with the buttons instead of fearing for their lives. <laughs> Alright, we're here. On to the next stage. Looks like there's another set of these little flame blasters, so just gotta kinda wait for these. I'm gonna wait for this end one here. Uh, yeah, I knew it was gonna be something tricky. <laughs> so there's another button in the middle. Let's go ahead and get this. No! I can activate it while I'm dead. Come on! Yeah, I got it! There you go! Get it, guys! Get it! Yeah! Hopefully they got it. We got this, guys. Come on. Oh, yes. Nice. Good teamwork. Good teamwork. Teamwork makes the dream work. All right, we got through. And let's hop. Oh, middle on. Oh, I caught a body. Unfortunate for that person. All right, let's go ahead and go for this button. Um, all right, so the best way I've seen, activate the bulls, run around, run around, try to get them to, you know, activate somewhere else. Then activate the button, hop around, don't get hit. Wait for this, you have time, patience is key. And there we go, we got the burning sword. Nice, all right. That looks pretty sick. Take your time with it, understand how the bulls work, let the bulls trigger, and then go for the button. You got it, just focus on that. But let's go ahead and let's go see what this thing can do to all the rest of the zombies and brutes of this world. Oh, so jumping. Okay, so jumping and swinging that is the speed method right now now the sword is definitely not the weapon you're gonna want to use against the brute but you know we got to give it a shot um yeah i don't know if brute's gonna be the one to test this thing on <laughs> so the sword is pretty cool but it's very limited on what it can actually do in this game it's not something you're gonna want to go after bosses with because most bosses if they're close enough to you they're gonna wreck you so this is more of a mob type of weapon to use which is fun you know if you got a bunch of mobs that you're basing around this thing's perfect for it what i think everybody's gonna want from this is this is the perfect thing to get around the map faster with so instead of just your normal sprint you can jump and then double click or jump and click you don't even have to double click and you can go places a lot faster you have to jump though it's sitting on the ground it'll catch the ground then you go back to your normal 16 walk speed it does good amount of damage to regular base mobs i don't know what the updates in the future are going to look like for it but it is pretty sick I love the effects on this sword. I love what the actual sword does when you swing it, but it's not something I'd go to attack bosses with, that's for sure. Another place where this sword is useful is this lava area. So if you wanna get the Vulcan, just hop over. You don't even have to mess with that. Don't even have to mess with those. Um, it'd be safer if you just hop over here and then uh, hop right there. You don't even have to wait for this guy to spawn you can just glide on over and then you got yourself the vulcan another place this sword could be useful would be the factory you can bypass some jumps i would believe like this jump right here yep knew that one you could probably cheese it into the corner yep and then i wonder if i can just Yep, you could cheese right over there. I know you could easily cheese over to that one. Make sure when you're doing these jumps to land on trusses, once you jump and hop over, de-equip the weapon just to make sure you can make it. 
but as you see this burning sword can easily help you with this area here to get the red missile launcher so it's good in factory it's good for the lava area for the vulcan and it's good in a couple different portal events. I'm assuming it would be great to use to get the corrupted rifle to run past everything. It's good in the mechomatic portal to avoid being hit if you're close. Uh, you can't use it in the wrong portal. It's good in the LXD portal to get away. It's good in the RGB portal. The LXW, you can't use it. The sewers, uh, no, nothing you really can do about that. The brute, nothing you can really do about it. Sheriff, you don't want to get close. Reaper, you don't want to get close. And that's about it. Interested to see what kind of craftables we're going to get off of this because I already know they're going to be awesome. But again, I hope this weapon doesn't get any hate because not every weapon has to be about damage. And I think that's one of the biggest concerns people are going to have is the damage. But this is for speed. This is for speed and agility. It is super useful. Just look. Look at the amount of speed speed that you get off of just this boost it's crazy other than that ladies and gentlemen i hope every single one of you have an awesome rest of your day or night whenever you're watching this and i will see you in the next one later